Hi, in this video I will show you a simple way how to pick up different items and create counters for them. As usual, I start from an empty project and quickly set it up. First I add collectibles to the scene. They will be coins, crystals and wood. There we go. All of these game objects need colliders to detect collisions with player. I select all of them and add box collider 2D. Set it as a trigger. Also, these collectibles are needed to be identified when player touches them. It can be done with tags, but this time I use scripts for that purpose. So each type of collectibles will have its own script attached. Here is a coin script for example. It's just an empty script, which will tell the player that it is a coin. Crystal and wood scripts are empty as well. So I drag and drop coin script to coins, crystal script to crystals and wood script to wood. In real project prefabs of these collectibles should be created of course. Ok, now I create simple UI counters. I create new UI text, here it is, and rename it as coin counter. Anchor it at top left corner of the canvas holding Alt plus Shift keys. Duplicate it twice pressing Ctrl plus D keys and rename these new objects as crystal counter and wood counter. Crystal counter goes here, wood counter goes here. Text field will be modified with the script later, but I give these folders some values to make it look nice. Ok. Now I select these counters and set text color to white. Now let me show you a useful canvas option. It is canvas scale mode. Now it's set to constant pixel size. This means that UI element size will be the same no matter which size game screen has. I hit play. You can notice which size our counters have on this small game screen. Now if I maximize game view on play and hit play, then you will see that counter size stays the same while screen size becomes bigger and UI elements looks pretty small now. To fix that I set scale mode to scale with screen size. I set font size a bit bigger and give counters a bit of indent. Now our UI elements will be scaled depending on screen size. Good. Now I add player, which is represented by skull. Why not? Here it is. Player will have a collider to detect collisions, which also will be a trigger. And since collisions can be detected only when one of the colliding game objects has rigid body, I add rigid body to the component to the skull. Set gravity scale to zero, so player will not fall down. I rename skull to player. Player's movement and counter's behavior will be controlled with player script. Let's take a look at this script. First, here I have rigid body variable, direction x, direction y and move speed variables, which will help me to move the player. Coins, crystals and wood counters variables will help me to control UI counters, text fields and display collectibles amount. Serialize field attribute helps to assign these variables in inspector. Coin, crystal and wood amount variables will hold number of collectibles, which are picked up. In start method I get control over rigid body component set move speed to 5 and set collectibles amount to 0. In update method, direction x and direction y variables takes value depending on which arrow button is pressed, multiplied by move speed. This allows me to move the player left, right, up and down. Also in update method, counters text field is modified depending on amount of coins, crystals or wood collected. In fixed update method, player is moved by modifying rigid body speed depending on direction x and direction y values. On trigger enter to the method is invoked when player collides with collectibles. So if this collectible has coin script attached, then coin amount is increased by 1 and coin is destroyed. If player collides with crystal, then crystal amount is increased by 1 and crystal is destroyed. Same for wood. That's the script. Drag and drop this script to player. Select player and drag and drop counters into corresponding slots of player script component. Coin counter goes to coin counter, crystal counter to crystal and wood to wood. That's it. Now I can hit play and see how it works. Player moves when arrow key are pressed, collectibles are collected, counters count. Hope you like this tutorial, thank you for watching and see you next time.